Good. My apologies. I'm so sorry. I decided to drive home for this one and obviously uh, lost track of time. So um, we have, do we, who, who do we have for um, attendees today, Jonathan? Uh, we have Mr. Bushko, Mr. Wright, Mr. Anderson, Mr. Bias, um, no uh, Mrs. Pesky, as far as I can tell. Okay, all right. So then let me just do the official um, open. Um, so this is a special meeting of the Board of Finance. Uh, for the record, today is February 9th. Uh, this is a virtual meeting um, and it is currently 5.14 p.m. Um, there is one item on the agenda today and I'm just pulling the agenda up. Um, before we jump into that agenda item, um, Chief, did you want to go over the um, the uh, acquisition of this uh, piece of equipment? Yeah, I'll do. I, I can do a real quick, um, high-level summary of the memo that I sent out, Mayor. Okay. Um, yeah, thank you for your time. So, um, we had been in the process, or the fire department had been slated for a replacement apparatus in the vehicle replacement fund. Uh, funded at 900,000 or identified as $900,000 for this upcoming fiscal year. So we're in the process of building the specifications and um, having the various vendors and uh, manufacturers come in to identify what technologies are out there and, and developing that specification to actually do, a, do the fire truck build for the next fiscal year. While we were doing that, um, was identified that using just using consortium pricing as a benchmark to sort of see where those vehicle pricings were going to come in that vehicle pricing was coming in a lot higher than we had originally projected we, it was there they would a, a custom build was being projected to come in at between 925 and 950 thousand um, dollars the we identified that the vehicle replacement committee and the fire department identified this demonstration unit that is uh, very aggressively priced. Um, you know, our, our goal was originally to just, like I said, go through a fire, fire truck build. Um, but this demo demonstration unit does provide a substantial savings to the city. Um, it, it is a it is a quality apparatus. It actually has an aerial that an upgraded aerial that if we were building a specification going out to get this truck new, we wouldn't. You know, we wouldn't be able to afford to put that within our specification. Um, so this vehicle, um, with the, the vehicle acquisition, the required modifications to make it work for our operations and the equipment comes in at 868,824,000, which, which is under budget. Um, and like I said, it is a quality apparatus. It is, it, is, it is a demonstration unit, but it wasn't left for emergency operations. It would be used for trade shows and, and the such. Um, the other thing is going through this out of vehicle replacement, vehicle replacement advisory uh, committee was adamant about um, pushing back on getting the extended warranty. So this apparatus does come with the full initial warranties as if it was purchased new at the time um, and also has the extended 60 month extended warranty in addition to that. So um, it, it comes with the warranties as if it's a new vehicle plus the extended warranty included in that price. Um, and it, it, like I said, it is a, um, it's, it's a low mileage demo. It's only got 18,000 miles on it and less than 540 hours on the, the motor. So, um, I don't know if there's any questions or, uh, questions or confusions I could, uh, talk to. Chief, Hi. this is, this is Mark Bushka. Uh, this is going to be replacing the oldest vehicle in the fleet. Yes, it is. So um, this is going to, uh, yeah, I think I should have done this. So th this vehicle will actually be placed into service in the north end, the engine two's location. And then that, that apparatus will be put into the reserve fleet so that we re can retire out the oldest reserve apparatus, which is a 2000. Um, we didn't think it was, it'd be prudent to sort of get a new apparatus to keep that in the reserve fleet. And by putting this, um, have engine two is our oldest frontline response apparatus. That's a 2007. So we'll be able to put that into the reserve fleet for callbacks and for if we have equipment breakdowns. Um, and, and hopefully, you know, our plan is to still get a lot of life out of that apparatus as well. 
Are there other questions for the chief? All right, um, then I'm going right. to a certain point. I'm sorry, America, go ahead. This may not yeah. be for the chief, but we were projected to purchase his vehicle anyway next year. That is correct. So it's been, has it, it's been funded into the vehicle replacement fund? We do have sufficient funds in vehicle replacement to cover this. Um, and after this acquisition, I think the balance in the uh, vehicle replacement uh, account is just under uh, $500,000. Um, I don't know if Alice is on the line um, that she can jump in and confirm the amount. There she is. Good evening, everybody. Um, currently in the vehicle replacement fund, one point three four three uh, million dollars. Um, so there will be about four hundred thousand dollars left in that fund, and that's enough to cover the uh, remainder of the vehicles that we are going to be purchasing in this fiscal year. So, uh, any other? questions regarding the finances on this one. Chief, what's the projected life of the vehicle we're purchasing? 20 years. 20, okay. Is that, that's what they factor into the uh, vehicle replacement plan. So Mayor, this is a 2020-2021 um, replacement. This the end of this fiscal year, correct? Not 21-22? Well, the original um, budgeting for the replacement of this vehicle was scheduled for the 21-22 fiscal year. Um, this is an opportunity for us to um, acquire the vehicle at a reduced rate from what it was projected to cost um, a little bit early um, without significantly impairing um, our goals with regard to vehicle replacement. Okay, yeah, that, that's what I, that's... Okay, then answer my question. Other questions? Mayor, this was approved by the city council already? So yes, city council approved this, board of safety approved it, uh, vehicle replacement advisory board approved it. Any other questions or concerns? All right, well then I'm gonna call for a motion to accept the recommendation of the fire chief and the vehicle replacement advisory board and approve the purchase of the 2019 E1 HP78 demonstration quint apparatus with the required modifications and equipment from Greenwood Emergency Vehicles in Attleboro Falls, Mass for a total cost of $868,824.47 to be funded through the vehicle replacement account. Do I have a motion? Anderson. Almost. Almost. Anderson. I, I heard, uh, I, I heard uh, Mr. Anderson and I heard a second, was that Mr. Bayes? Mr. Bushka was second. Mr. Bushka, thank you. Um, all right, so further questions before I call the motion? No, I, Mayor, just a quick note. I, just, I know the chief did a lot of work um, on this and especially went back to the negotiating table after to get that um, extra warranty included. So I just want to thank him for his efforts on this and, um, you know, keeping this under budget and we got a little more value out of it. So, uh, you know, I think it's, I think it's a good purchase. Thank you. All right. If there are no other questions, I will call this motion. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. There being no further business before the board, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved. Thank you. I heard um, Mr. Anderson. I heard Mr. Bushka. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We're adjourned. Thank you. And again, my apologies for coming on so late. Thanks, Chief. Thank you, everyone, for your support. Much appreciated.